Hey everybody, welcome back to Broken Sword, the, sh the Smoking Mirror, and we're still trying to get the two stones to get all three that we need to stop the evil god from being released. George's work here is working on one, and Nico is working on the other. We've been going back and forth, trying to collect them all to get to the big finale, so we can apparently take the vines off of this big stone. The creeper just came away from the rock as I pulled it. Brazen. The creeper didn't look like it would hold my weight. So what, you want me to like climb it? Hey, where are you going? It was the electronic marker which Bronson used with his theodolite. Okay. The marker clipped firmly onto the net. Great. I'd created some sort of creeper marker fishing net assembly. Sometimes I terrify myself with my creative genius. Something like that. I'd successfully got the marker into a position near the top of the needle simply by using the kind of lateral thinking that can get you institutionalized. Why did I do it? Well, that's a good question. Guess we'll find out later. This is where I came from. Thought that would take me somewhere new. This isn't leading me anywhere new. How about up here? God damn it. I need to go up here. hill would make sense but now I'm in the swamp again what the hell getting freaking lost
Just go. Worry about the bugs later. Hmm. I'm sure it's got to be somewhere over there. Okay, after looking it up, there is a way to make it through, but you just have to uh, go through the swamp maze, basically. So the other way is you can jump on a branch and have the boar clear a path. That's the quicker way. But, since that didn't happen, I need to make my way through this swamp. Nearby ah. tropical bird call. Stay cool, Stobart. It was only a bird. Hold on. I've been here before. Haven't I? You're at the bottom path. We're at the top path now. Idiot. Quite a view. Initials carved into the stone read F K. Frederick Ketch had been here. Joining the dots would make an equilateral triangle. The hill I was on had reminded me of a camel's hump as I'd climbed up it. Now I had to see what I could see. Oh, here we go. Finally learned how to use it. There was an enormous cave. Every tourist for the last three centuries must have been in that one. An ugly little cave. Didn't look like the sort of place you'd want to leave treasure. Heck, Ketch could have hidden his treasure anywhere. This island's full of hiding places.
It was the marker which I had raised up the needle of rock. I could see the marker I had fastened on the rock down in the forest, and right in line with it, the rock I was looking for. Stealth mission. What to do now? Oops, clicked on the wrong thing. The guard would be suspicious. Come on, just use the door. <laughs> Let's me restart here, so I don't have to go too far back. At least you know there are stakes. Don't click on the mop this time. Got you. But the Kolar woman was there. They'll know it was me. But you have the stone. The right stone, you're sure? Yes, of course, it's the Jaguar stone. No possible mistake. Here it is. Karzak, please. The police will be looking for me soon. You're going to get me out of the country, aren't you? Stop your whining, Uvier. Do you have any idea what this stone symbolizes? I thought you just wanted it to frighten the natives. Fool. I intend to cast this stone into the sea. But why? It's unique. Exactly. 
With it gone, the Mayan priest's plan to destroy Tezcatlipoca cannot succeed. I can assure you that Tezcatlipoca is a mythical figure. Such a small mind you live in. Tezcatlipoca is real. I have seen him in my dreams. We have spoken of his plans for this world. We have spoken of your part in these plans. My part? He told me you would be useful. He told me how to crush your spirit by turning you to drugs. My wife died. You know that full well. She was my world, my everything. And now? You are no longer useful. She called out your name as she died, you know. What? What are you saying? And then they thought you'd done it. It all worked perfectly. You? It was you? You bastard! You monster! For the love of God, Karzak! Which one? Good thing you didn't walk the other way. There were no signs of life, but I checked that Ubiye really was beyond help. We were going to need the stone to thwart Karzak. I knew Ubiye would have approved. It was the Jaguar stone, all right. Oh no, gotta act fast. Faster than that, come on, there we go. Use the dagger. Well, she got her stone. Pirate! Joan just needs, George just needs to get his, or Jaws. I was about to make good my escape when... Cut! Who the hell are you? Uh, I can explain everything. Don't bother. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were making a movie. So who are you? Stobart, George Stobart. Uh, Two B's and two T's. It's okay, Mr. Hawks. He wasn't in the shot. Hawks? This had to be Carlton Hawks, the newest enfant terrible of Tinseltown. I'd read about him. Mailroom boy makes good. Nice to know it was still possible to get to be a director armed with only an encyclopedic knowledge of postal charges. Stay out of the way, surfer boy. I'll deal with you later. Surfer boy? Hi there, George Stobart. Uh-huh. Yeah. Haiku McEwen. Is your name really Haiku? Yeah. It was my mom's idea, okay? When I was born, I was so small and perfectly formed, I reminded her of a Japanese poem. <laughs> well, I guess it could have been worse. She could have called you Limerick. That's my middle name. Haiku Limerick. Did you always want to be an actor? I don't think of what I do as acting, man. You're not alone. It's more like I'm the voice of my generation. What I'm saying, I'm saying for the kids on the street. Which is what? I'm crap, I'm going nowhere? Huh? What are you saying, man? Stobart, get out of shot. Positions, everybody. I'll get a flip chart and explain it to you later, Haiku. Haiku, baby, are you ready? Okay, man. Uh, which scene is this? You've been captured by Silver's accomplice, Pirate Babs, who's fallen in love with you. Okay, people, top of page 76, Sharon. What about my big speech? It's been cut. Everybody ready? Up to speed. Quiet on the set. Okay, let's make magic. Oh, please. And... Action! Why don't you forget that dumb old squire and his bunch of merry men? Can't you see we were made for each other? I know, but Squire Trelawney saved my life, Captain Babs. Why, 
If it hadn't have been for him, that giant octopus would have made mincemeat out of me. But right now he thinks you're a traitor. He's locked you out of the stockade, Jimbo. That 20-foot high wall with spikes might have kept out Silver's men, but it ain't gonna stop me. Oh, Jimbo. And cut! Good heavy breathing, Sharon. Match, I'm a pro. Did you get the heavy breathing, Flash? Did I ever, boss? You should have made this movie in 3D. Haiku, you were great. We're setting up for the stunt now, so get a bite to eat. Savage, on set, damn it. The bun was so stale, it felt like a small rock. I didn't want another one of the... Hey! Haiku. Yeah, man. You got something to show me? I'd like your opinion on something. Yeah? What? He was too interested in himself. Hi. I'm George Stobart. My name's Harris. Most people call me Flash. You're the cameraman, right? That's right. Why'd they call you Flash? You used to be a stills photographer? Nope. I decided not to pursue the subject. As I walked towards the bush, it started buzzing angrily. Hi, George Stobart. Hello, mate. You're English, right? Blimey, you don't miss much, do you? Bert Savage. How long have you been in the movie business? Flipping years, mate. Absolutely flipping years. I was in the army before that. Thought to myself, you've been risking your bleeding neck every day. Why not cash in on it like? So you became a stuntman, just like that? Nah, of course not. I had to do the training first. What training does a stuntman do? First, they told me to stand in the road. Then they run me down, straight up. Drove at me with a car. I couldn't believe it. I was up on the bonnet and over the other side before I realized he wasn't stopping. Then they threw me downstairs a bit and gives me a certificate. I don't want to worry you, but there's a hornet's nest over in that bush. Hornets. That reminds me of a film I was in. The Black Hornet. The Black Hornet? I don't remember seeing that one. Before your time, most likely. What happens in it? Lummy, what don't happen in it? I was shot, stabbed, fed to piranhas, dangled from an airship, and trampled by a zebra. No, I mean, what was the plot? Plot? Did you ever work with Carol Climax? The Dirty Dashand? I'll say. Flipping princess, mate. I heard she was very beautiful. Mind you, she acted like one, too. Ordering this, demanding that. Did you ever meet Bertrand Oubier? Meet him? No. I saw him a few times, though. He didn't like his wife being in films. Have you ever seen anything like this before? What's that, mate? Stone axe? No, it's just a piece of polished stone. Very nice, very nice indeed. Shine it up a bit, you get a few bob for that. Would you like a pancake, Bert? Don't mind if I do.
Still looks more like a crepe than a pancake to me. But I guess it's a pancake. What have you got there? Another pancake, Bert? Yeah, go on. The pancake oozed maple syrup all over Bert's chins. Ugh, you put bloody syrup on that pancake. Now it's messed me all up. Those hornets were not pleased. Get that camera rolling. This could be good. <laughs> Cut and print it. That was brilliant, folks. Okay, the next scene is down on the beach. This is where Hawkins finds the treasure in the Cave of the Crabs. Would those be giant killer crabs by any chance? Giant mutant killer crabs with attitude. There it was, the rock I'd seen from the camel's hump. Now that I was close up, I could make out a small cave near the top of the pillar. Trouble! Oh, who? Me? I want you to stay right where I can keep an eye on you. I'm not one of your lackeys, Hawks. I go where I like. Not here you don't. The movie company has rented this island for the duration. You're trespassing. Do as you're told or you're gone. All right, so I'm going to leave it there for now, and we will go up to the cave and try to find the stone next time, and we'll check in with Nico and see how she makes her escape. And uh, so, yeah, check that out next Friday. Well, or actually Saturday. That's when we'll be doing the next one of these. And then it'll probably be the finale the same weekend after that, or Monday at least. So, yeah, that's looking all lined up for... The finale then we have phoenix professor layton versus phoenix right on friday and a bunch of other stuff so catch you later